Hi, everyone. <laughs> Raising our frequency. Yeah, that's the only work that we have here and the only job that we have to do, okay? So how can we uh, raise our frequencies? How can we uh, understand where we are, if we are in a low frequencies or high frequencies? Uh, what are the frequencies? And uh, so on, I'm gonna talk about it in this video. So how can we raise our frequencies, you know? And what are, what, first of all, what are the frequencies, you know? The frequencies are connected to the emotions. Uh, each emotion has a frequency that we are chronically vibrating on. So there, is, there are emotions like sadness, apathy, uh, anger, mm, uh, fear, uh, frequency of... Uh, um, Satisfa satisfaction, joy, uh, game, and just being, you know, just pure being or a frequency of aesthetic, you know, when something is beautiful, it's not a judgment, it's just frequency of, uh, that we are vibrating on, you know. So those are the frequencies that I'm talking about or we are chronically vibrating on. So how to raise those frequencies? Because we are always... Uh, vibrating on some frequency chronically you know and that's where we are but our job is to raise our frequencies and we can raise our frequencies by meditating you know just sitting with you and yourself uh, in peace or with some music for 15 minutes with closed eyes morning evening just right when you wake up it's the best before you start to react uh, to the things around you and or um, cleaning our body we can clean our body with detoxes with a plant-based food you know and with those things or with touch you know with touch of uh, each other of, of animals you know with touch uh, you can raise your uh, chronicle frequency or going to the nature but those things you have to be all, 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 all doing every day you know like <clears throat> practice them you know and for example the meditation it takes like one month until i saw some results you know until i was raising my frequency going to the nature because the nature is the same like touch you know it's the mother nature the mother nature is hugging us so going to the nature raises your frequency uh, a lot and first of all which is like 10 minutes of doing what you love is better than hours of meditation so when you do what you love when you when you do your passion when you live uh, your potential when you do what you love that is the best way to raise your frequency okay and your frequency uh, once it gets uh, to some point when it's when you're on high frequencies then people around you can push you uh, to their lower frequency, but they can never lower your frequency. You can feel pushed, you know, you can be uh, under uh, some uh, push, under, under some pressure from them, but they cannot never uh, put your frequency down, you know, you can... Uh, where, where you reach your frequency, you stay there, you know. And that's how I came to Earth. <laughs> That's how I came to this earth. I came in a very high frequency. I remember that, that I sent myself to earth and I chose my parents, I chose my life, I chose my experiences. I, I chose people around me, you know, I uh, chose a good life for me because I was coming in a high frequencies because I left in high frequencies, you know. So this is what I remember. I came in very high frequencies. And even though uh, the environment tried it push me down that can never happen you know so I'm a rebel you know I always was living my my desire my potential so you cannot you don't go against you when you go against you it presses you you know so this is how to raise the frequency you know I already told you what is frequency the chronicles frequencies and now how to see where you are okay so I'm only going to talk about lower frequencies and higher frequencies. When you are in the frequency of fear, you see the life uh, very uh, different and you are not able to see the life the way it is. 
but you have this fear filter. So that is, uh, you then you don't see the reality as it is, but as you imagine, you know. And you are not gonna even understand me probably now that I'm talking, because you're gonna uh, you're gonna project your fears into me, you know, and you're gonna be scared of whatever I'm talking. People in a lower frequencies, they... Uh, okay, let's talk about the higher frequencies. When you are in the higher frequencies, you... Everything is easy for you. That's why we have to hire our frequencies, first of all, because the life becomes easy. Work becomes easy. You get impulse, you go make it, you know. Life is very easy for you. When you are in higher frequencies, you never are ill. There are no illnesses, you know, it vibrates so high that there are no illnesses. When you are somewhere in the middle, you can have some small diseases, you know, like some small things, but when there, you are never uh, uh, ill. There are no illnesses in the high frequencies. You love children, you love children when you are in high frequencies and everything that is small, you love life, you know, you, you love the this new life. So you love children and uh, you love your the screaming and all this noise around you, you love people, you love society, you know. And you love the, uh, the other uh, sex, you know. So you are attracted by others, you know, you love uh, men or women, I, I don't know what, you, what you're attracted to. So you love uh, and, and, and you love sex or you use the sexual energy for creating in these higher frequencies, you know, consciously or unconsciously, you are using it for creating some new things. That's, that is when you are in the higher frequencies. You eat the light food, you... Uh, yeah, life is easy. When you are in the when people in the lower frequencies, you know, they usually don't like children. They don't like the noise. They mind the screaming. I saw myself many times when I uh, were somewhere where they pushed me. I came home and I was minding my kids screaming, and I even you know was very bad with them. So this this is when you are in lower frequencies. People in lower frequencies in sex they like these uh, sadomaso and these. Uh, uh, painful techniques, you know, so you can find out that the person is in a, a lower frequencies when he likes these practices. People in a lower frequencies, they use alcohol and uh, other drugs, you know, to release, you know, to relax. They release these, they use these uh, uh, substances, changing consciousness, they use these uh, things, cigarettes, and so they use it to release, you know, when you are in higher frequencies, you cannot drink alcohol or smoke or, or whatever, because it puts you down, it's low frequency for you, it puts you down and it makes you, uh, you don't use it, you know, so people are using those to release, you know, to relax. And there are illnesses. Uh, there is a mucus in these lower frequencies and this mucus causes the illnesses. So this is in the lower frequencies. And that's how you can see that somebody is in the lower frequencies. Um, yeah, it's very easy to see because uh, those are uh, points of behavior that you can very easily see when you spend some time with the person. But if you only, you can only, actually, you can only feel it, you know. Hey, the dog biting the carpet here. You can feel it, first of all, when you meet somebody, okay. You know, where is, what? Ooh. Okay, have a nice day. <laughs>